my name's Rich Woods uh, and I'm the head of spirit and drink development at Duck and Waffle. The first drink we're going to be making uh, is a drink loosely based on the Bloody Mary and it's called an Essence of Mary. So the ingredients for this drink are quite simply um, vodka or in the case of the Essence of Mary we're actually going to be using gin as a replacement to the vodka and a Bloody Mary consomme. We wanted to recreate the Bloody Mary. Everybody loves a good Bloody Mary. The problem with the Bloody Mary is one is never enough and two is often too many. So what we wanted to do was recreate the experience of having a really good brunch cocktail but you could continue to drink whilst eating. So essentially what we've done is we've made a Bloody Mary martini but rather than just simply stirring down the tomato juice with all the spices, with the base spirit, be it vodka or gin, we thinned out the Bloody Mary so we mixed a regular stock tomato juice with all of our seasoned spices then we froze the tomato juice, we've drip thawed the tomato juice and made a really intense Bloody Mary consomme which we then stir down with your chosen spirit to make a really intense but light take on a Bloody Mary. Essentially it's a martini, uh, so all we're doing is we're adding two ounces of our, of our base spirit, so in this case gin, uh, with two ounces of our Bloody Mary consomme, stir it down like you would do a martini and then just lightly strain it into a small martini glass and then garnish it. And so here we have an Essence of Mary. So the second cocktail we're going to be making uh, is a take on a gin and tonic, a great British classic. This one's called Mind Your P's and Q's. So the first thing we do uh, is we're infusing our gin. Uh, for this I'm taking a light style of gin, so I've chosen Bombay Sapphire. We are infusing it with sugar snap peas and fresh mint. Once we filter the gin, we then take a large measure, so again two ounces of the gin, pour it over ice as we would serve a normal gin and tonic, top up with fresh tonic water and we're going to garnish it with a mint sprig. Just to add the aroma to the drink when you're drinking it and serve it. And here we have your Mind Your P's and Q's. So the third drink we're going to be doing this afternoon uh, is a cocktail called the Roasted Bone Marrow Cosmopolitan. So the drink itself uh, is actually quite simple to make. First thing we're doing is we're roasting off the bone marrow. Once the bone marrow is roasted, we infuse it into the citron vodka. The next process is a what we're calling a, a freeze filtering. So we're freezing all the fat to solidify so we can filter the, the liquid off very easily. We then take that liquid, uh, we serve it over ice with all our other ingredients. We stir it down like a martini and we serve it in a small martini glass garnished with a fresh sprig of rosemary. And here we have our roasted bone marrow cosmopolitan.